welcome back to another video hi if you've never seen me my name is natasha welcome thanks for clicking on today we are going to be trying the pool girl aesthetic i don't know if that's like the way to call it but i've been seeing quite a lot recently on tiktok people talking about cool girl aesthetic cool girl style cool girl simplicity this and that and i already did a video where i tried the clean girl aesthetic so go watch that if you haven't seen that already and today we're trying a new aesthetic cool girl aesthetic so i had to search up like a definition of what this really means because i was a little unsure myself like i see the vibes but, like what what does the internet describe this as so according to the internet the cool girl aesthetic is characterized by effortlessly stylish and laid-back look and it often involves a mix between like a casual and trendy style minimalistic makeup and like what's basically part of this aesthetic is like your attitude and your confidence and your way of showing like you don't care what other people have to say like you do you basically so key elements may include oversized vintage clothing denim simple but like edgy accessories and confidence like you literally wear confidence and so the aesthetic is about embracing individuality and radiating a sense of authenticity in your personal style so when i searched up okay what should i do during my day what does a cool girl do every day most of the time i found that it was saying thrifting which is what we're gonna be doing today that's like the main part of the whole entire day basically other stuff was like hang out at a cafe or study at a cafe then there was like doing photo shoots i don't know just like some stuff like that you get the idea i'm basically just gonna be vlogging my day today and try to have like this cool girl vibe my outfit of today is quite basic i'm just wearing a black long sleeve top and then regular jeans you'll, you'll see that later in the video but i decided to go a little bit crazier with my jewelry and wear a little bit more than what i usually would so i'm wearing gold everywhere but i'm wearing way more rings than what i usually do so for example on this hand as you can see i have a lot of rings this one and this one is from monica Manader. this black one is my mom's and then this one is from like urban outfitters or something or brandy melville actually and then i have these two bracelets on this one is from father and daughter jewelry this one is a gift so i don't know and then on the other hand i I also went ahead and layered some rings so this one is from regina jewelry and this one is from monica manader this one my mom's and this one a gift and then here i have yet another bangle this one i got in marrakesh in morocco this summer if you haven't watched those vlogs make sure to do that and then earrings are thrifted safira this one is my mom's used to be same thing here this one is safira as well and this one is claire's so that's the vibes of today's look i also have a little sweater that i'll be throwing on as well as this red like mini bag bucket bag i don't really know round bag cool first thing we're gonna do is go right ahead and do one of my favorite hobbies which is go thrifting let's go <laughs> I ran away while you keep coming back Tell me that my past was to prepare me where I'm at Tell me, is your past for me more than I imagine? Tell me, if I do it my way, is it gonna happen? Tell me, if he talking wrong, can I bring out the fit? The first thrift store of today is called Yadhem And it's this random yellow house in the middle of nowhere That's only open on Saturdays for like three hours But they have some pretty good stuff I would say the clothing section isn't anything crazy But for interior decor and stuff for your house, it's definitely worth going They do have like some vintage pieces that are pretty cool But most of the stuff, I would say like really looks like antique and old Like for the clothing section so not really my vibe i'm kind of focused on trying to find a good fur jacket right now so i tried this one on but i ended up putting it back i don't really like how it fits me i think i can find something better in another thrift store so thank you but no thank you i think this is a container for butter but i don't know it looks so fancy and cool also these silver colors are reminding me of dessert bowls i've been seeing a lot on instagram but i can't see like the actual bowls or anything here which is so sad or else i would have immediately bought one okay go get core like i said before this is a house so everything is laid out over three different floors and if we go to the bottom floor now there's much more decor for the house and furniture we just found the biggest basket full of watches and we're finding some gems in here like look at this cool ring watch i am absolutely obsessed okay to follow the cool girl aesthetic of course we made it to a little cafe there's always some space for a sweet treat am i right fire we gonna set the whole world Okay, I'm in another 
thrift store now and clearly i'm looking for a fur jacket and i found another one in here it's size m but it's originally from like zara and i think it could work so let's try it on and see what we think Ooh. it's a vibe it's very much a vibe but like low-key i'm wearing a pretty thick jumper underneath and it's a little bit tight on the arms like i can feel that it's a little tight even though it's size m and i usually wear like literally extra small or small we're at a thrift store and stuff like that always seems to happen i also quite like the length that it's not like super short like not cropped or anything but i'm a little unsure maybe about the color it's a little too orangey for me i would have preferred more like cool colder color but it definitely is gonna keep me warm that's for sure so that's good i think i'm gonna have to put it back and then see if i can find something else in the other thrift stores and if not and i really feel like i missed out i'll just come back and pray that they still have it okay so no success in the other thrift stores i didn't find any fur jackets or literally anything else that i wanted but now that i'm back at home i thought i could show you what i did get at the first thrift store that we went to today so firstly i've been carrying around this at all the thrift stores that i've been to today but this little frame and you might be like oh like okay it's a frame like i guess it's cute but like what you don't don't understand is that like this is a drawing of a street that i literally walk on almost every single day and i want to say this for the rest of my life like this is going to be a reminder of the city that i studied in for my bachelor's and like because i'm in my last year right now i'm very emotional very nostalgic vibes i'm, I'm trying to use my time here as best as i can and try and do all the stuff that i haven't tried yet or there's stuff that i like doing here just do that as much as possible before i leave again so this is like such a nice find i think i'm literally gonna put it right there let's see See how that looks. I don't know if I should put it the right way around or even just have it like this just for now. I feel like that's a vibe. I do still need to take the price off though. And then I got another thing which I did include in the video. Okay, I decided to get the watch ring. Like look how cool cool it is and the watch is like actually pink i think it's so cool okay yeah right now i'm just wearing gold jewelry but one day i feel like wearing silver i think it's so cool like a little watch i don't think i'm gonna actually be bothered to like put batteries in it and actually make it work because i know it can work as an actual watch but i don't think i'm gonna be bothered to do that and then maybe if i want to wear it like this instead i don't know i thought this was so cool i actually know that my mom has like two watch rings i think they need like fixing or something i've always found those so cool so i got this and it was super cheap too it was 20 crowns which is like not even two euros that's all i got today like to be honest it wasn't my best thrift trip but it was still a nice outing the sun was shining so much which was so nice because it was freezing outside but because the sun was out it was like it was nice you know it wasn't too too cold but yeah also i was thinking about how the whole cool girl aesthetic is about being confident and i guess also it it kind of is about being your best self and i do have a video on how to gain more confidence and how to be your best self if you haven't watched that already i did like a little video of me getting ready for my day whilst talking about these topics so i definitely think you should watch that video if you haven't already i'll put it up here somewhere and link it in the description too but right now i feel like i need a 20 hour nap i don't really know what i'm gonna do now but talk to you whenever i'm doing something i don't know okay it's a little bit later now we are about to make dinner together with my roomie alice um and we actually plan to make bao buns today to make it you know make something a little more special make something different make something unique make something also that is pretty and aesthetic of course so i feel like that is perfect for today's theme of this video so we're gonna make bao buns and we have already taken out all the ingredients for the recipe we have our veggies some coriander for like topping sesame seeds is also for topping we have also chicken being prepared right now some good stuff we are also going to be changing it up a little bit because in the recipe it says ginger paste but we have like ginger like this or we could have it in powder form too i don't know we're gonna figure something out there hopefully we can make it look good taste good too of course of course the taste needs to be good but we want to be a little bit aesthetic as well we've also set some candles just for the vibes because it's all about the vibes you guys let's go
these are the final results of the bao buns i already know what the chicken tastes like it tastes so good i've never made these before first time but like low-key i listed everything with the chicken that's like the whole entire flavor so yeah but it was actually really fun to make and like it looks a little artistic i have to keep my fork here though or else this like bao bun just keeps opening up also we were like a little unsure on how to do the buns because on the package it just said to put it in the microwave for like 40 to 60 seconds but that definitely didn't do anything so we did a little diy where we boiled some water and then we put this like thing over the top and then on top of that we put this to so it could really like steam the whole thing and that actually worked really well so recommend if you don't know how to steam a bun and you don't have like the thing to i don't know there's like a specific box where you steam buns if you don't have that you can just do a little diy we're about to eat dinner now and we're gonna watch divergent because we're gonna start on all of those since we recently watched all of the hunger game movies so now we're kind of in that type of mood that era so we're gonna watch divergent for the rest of the night and i'm just gonna end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what the next aesthetic is that i should try out and yeah with that said i will see you in my next video bye